Chapter 3, The Way of the Wild, Enter Cricketina, the Wild Mage. Mage. It wasn't long before they exited the forest and made their way into the big valley like a mountain town called Nihalem. They didn't know much about this place, but they recalled that one of the Princess Twilight's relatives, a certain cousin of hers, is from this place, which kind of, is kind of funny that they had never visited, but this town was so remote it wasn't even on the map. They were looking around town when Bon Bon returned from speaking to some of the town's town folk why Gaia was off somewhere. Okay, they gave me the directions back to Ponyville. I'm heading back to give my report. Do any of you want me to send for anything once I get back there? Just to send word to Princess Celestia that we've made contact with the Everbeast, said Princess Twilight with a heavy look on everything that's going on. I know we shouldn't keep things from her, but we barely know a thing that's going on. A secret group that is capturing wild magical creatures for something big. I don't think we should report anything about this to her until we have more to go off on. Good point. See you all back in Ponyville, said Bon Bon, before parting ways with them. I wish I can continue with them, but the hero's life isn't a life for me, and they've got more experience than I do at it, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Gaia shortly returned after that to say while gesturing for them to continue. Okay, we're in business. Where did Bon Bon go? She went home, answered Applejack, who has a feeling she's not telling them anything. Gaia frowned hard at Applejack, but said as she led them uphill. Hmm, okay. Anyway, I managed to get us a meeting with, uh, with, uh, on one we're going to see. Meeting? Is this friend of yours an important pony around here? Asked Rarity, who is now very curious. Me? Well, she's not a pony, Belle, but I would say she's important, said Gaia, as they followed this path to a Sensi's house from a foreign country. In the yard was a large insect-looking creature standing up like a kangaroo that appeared to be in the middle of the trance. Here we are. Hey, Cricketina. The one called Cricketina opened her eyes and said a friendly, very calm voice to her visitors. Welcome to my humble abode. Gaia, it's been a long time. Too long. We need to talk, said Gaia with a very serious look. Indeed. Care to join me for tea? asked Gaia, who led them into her house to reveal a tea party all set for them. They agreed to the tea party, which was a lot like one in Ponyville, had delicious tea and wondrous tea cakes. During the tea party, they explained why they were here. So let me get this straight. You, Gaia, who have been hiding for the longest of time as I can recall, have finally decided to go and free your people from the queen, and you all wish me to teach you how to use wild magic. Well, just me and Rarity. I mean, we are the only ones who can use magic, said Princess Twilight to clarify, and Gaia snorted at that. What? That's a big lie. All ponies can use magic, just not the same as each other, said Gaia with a laugh. It's magic that gives... Pegasi, Pegasi. Pegasi to be able to fly fast or walk on clouds or earth ponies to use magic to give them super strength. Hey, even the thing you call getting a cutie mark is magic. This all of, this left all of the main six speechless as they clearly didn't know about their pony tribes and it was Cricketina who broke the silence. Well, it's been a long time since I've taught anything as I've been trying to find inner peace for the last few centuries. And yes, I'm very old. Well, let me first do an analysis on all of you first. But why, asked Rainbow Day, she raised an eyebrow, to determine whether or not any of you are able to use wild magic if I were to teach you, said Cricketina, 
before her eyes started glowing with the strange magic, and she pointed a single hand pinky at Pinkie Pie as the first one. She then slowly moved to each one from Pinkie, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Princess Twilight, and then ending on Applejack. Huh, that's interesting. Only three out of six members of your group have the potential to use wild magic, and only one who has a relative or sibling who could have a huge affinity for it. Oh, which of us is it? asked Princess Twilight, who started writing everything down in the book she was writing. Well, there's Fluttershy, Rarity, and her, said Katina, who pointed to Applejack, who was shocked. You are the one who has a sibling who could be a wild magic prodigy, but I can still teach you to use the wild magic. The rest of you will have to be support if you're going to be helping Gaia, Gaia in freeing your people if this works. Now that I know who I can teach, I'll give you my answer. Yes, I'll train you all, but it will take longer than whatever Gaia is hoping, and we'll all need a safe, homey environment for you to train in. Well, there's no more homey place than home, so we can do it in Ponyville, said Applejack, who had a good feeling about this. That's where we live, so it'd work, right? Then we'll go there. I'll get packing, said Cricketina, before getting up to leave her team room. You can always stay in my house while I pack. There's plenty of guest rooms. I'll be ready to leave by tomorrow afternoon. Gaia, mind if I talk to you in the hallway alone? Uh, sure, said Gaia, before heading out of the room with her.